All right, this video is about nuclear power. Uh, and specifically, I hope to set out some of the reasons why you shouldn't be afraid or concerned about nuclear power. And that's mostly because of new passive safety features. So what we're gonna be talking about is the difference between passive and active safety features. Um, active safety features are ones that require things like electricity or direct human intervention to prevent a nuclear power plant from, say, melting down or getting into some sort of catastrophic situation. Now, let's say we have our reactor here and it has control rods that are sticking out horizontally. Now, if you're having a reactor that's overheating, to insert those control rods, you need things like electricity to shove it into the reactor and slow down the nuclear reaction. Sometimes nuclear reactors, they use backup generators. These backup generators power things like pumps, and these pumps then pump uh, coolant through the reactor for emergency cooling situations. Now, they rely on backup systems, which are redundant, but they can still fail, and this isn't good. And as we've seen with different backup systems, uh, regardless of how many redundancies there are, they can go down, like in Fukushima, where there was a big tsunami that took out the backup generators. So to combat this, nuclear engineers are using passive safety systems. Now, passive safety systems, they rely on things like gravity and other laws of physics. Now this is really good because generally, laws of physics are a lot more consistent and dependable than backup uh, emergency systems or redundant systems. So let's say we have our reactor here with our control rods and they're in water, you know, there's all this coolant around it. Now if this water starts getting too hot, it's going to create bubbles, you know, when you boil water, bubbles form. So you have all these bubbles in the water. And as the particles are moving through the bubbles, the bubbles actually slow these particles down. So that means as the rea reaction creates more heat, the water slows down the reaction because of those bubbles. So that's a good way to design it. It's something that uses fundamental physical forces to make sure the reaction doesn't get out of hand or all crazy on us. Another thing that is used in the can-do reactors is control rods that are suspended with electricity. So if the electricity goes down, the control rods are no longer suspended, they're dropped from their magnets, and they fall into the reactor, slowing it down. So this is using gravity to make sure that the reaction doesn't get out of hand. Uh, one cool thing is a pebble bed reactor. Now, pebble bed reactors, the way these are shaped, when the temperature goes up, uh, different, by, because of the properties of the materials used, more particles are actually absorbed. So as it heats up, the reaction slows down. This is again good because if things get out of hand, it naturally kind of caps itself. Now a really cool thing are generation four reactors. Generation four reaction, reactors, they use things like passively, passive safety features and uh, molten salts as, as one of the cool coolant features. So they're pretty advanced and they're really safe. They also do cool things like they use spent nuclear fuel to power themselves. So this really brings up the point that nuclear power is green power. And if we're going to reduce our reliance on carbon fuels, we need nuclear power.